Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and today we'll be doing a message for Leo. So Leo, it's looking like you are um, in a sparring match. It's very interesting because the previous reading we did of Orion was talking about the different stages of a warrior. And so as we're now moving into Leo, it looks as though this is almost like a preliminary step, if you will. Leo embodies the practice or the preliminary steps to becoming a warrior. And it's showing up here in your reading today, Leo, as being on the sparring grounds and sparring with other warriors. So, Leo, for um, your underlying energy, well, actually, before I say that, um, this reading, they are timeless. So whenever the messages find you and resonate, then it's yours at the time in which you find it. And for your underlying energy, we have uh, we have the emperor that's showing up here for your underlying energy. Ah, oh, there we go. And the seven of wands, which is coming through as your, your uh, not defensiveness. It's, well, I guess so like playing defense, right? Playing defense in your your strategy. Your strategy is playing defense. Okay, that's interesting. So with the emperor that's showing up here, I often talk about how the emperor embodies some type of secret. It's like, I often feel like this emperor has a secret. And so inside of your hands here, you showing up as the emperor in your underlying energy, it's referring to that you actually have like a secret, it's almost as if you have like a secret weapon. You're in this sparring match and your secret weapon, maybe perhaps your secret weapon is being playing defense or being on the defensive. And I'm even noticing here that we actually have the hangman, which was showing up as well in the, in the Orion reading as the one who voluntarily drew, the, they voluntarily um, sign themselves up as like tribute. And it's like that, that is your, that is your secret weapon. Your secret weapon is being perhaps more defensive or playing defense. Interesting. So, which kind of tells me that, you know, instead of actually like making blows, you know, if we're on the, if you're in the sport, in a sparring match, instead of maybe making the hits or making blows, you're actually blocking them from even, from even hitting you. So that kind of tells me that it's like whoever you're sparring against, you're, it's almost as if you're using their strength against them because if you continuously like block their blows, then they'll end up tiring themselves out and you will still have all of your energy left to, <laughs> I guess like finish the match, right? So let's look at the bridge and see where you'll be headed. And we have the four of the four of swords here. And it's like I'm, I'm speaking of, you know, finish finishing the match. And this is actually kind of looking like a KO. <laughs> it's very interesting. There's a lot of uh like fighting references that are that are occurring in your reading Leo. So I mean, maybe you're like a boxer or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, so the Four of Swords here is looking like a KO. And with it being paired, do you see how you're showing up as the Emperor? And it's actually like, I want to say that this Four of Swords here is your opponent. Like the one that you're sparring with or the ones that you're, you're in, the, in the ring with. They're, you're causing them to actually start to reflect upon how they spar. So that's what I mean. Like this doesn't feel as though it's like a, um, this feels like practice. It doesn't feel like a show or anything like that or, or a competition. I mean, we do have the five of wands that's showing up here, which traditionally talks about competition, but this is more talking about practice. So it's as if you are sparring with others and you're actually helping them realize like the error, if you will, in how they spar or how they fight, something like that, because it's like, you've got this secret weapon and you're trying, 
I mean, yes, it's secret, but it's like they, whoever you're sparring with kind of has to figure it out on their own. Like they have to figure out their, their own strategy or their own way of fighting. And so what ends up occurring for them is that they'll kind of go through all of these little, these KOs, if you will, and knockouts, or I mean, maybe, maybe it's not knockouts, but like they're, they're, they're tapping out, if you will. And it's this process that's actually helping for them to reflect upon how they are, how they're sparring. That's very fascinating. So let's get an overall energy for you today, Leo. Oh, and it's, it's fallen. Let me go grab it. Okay. Okay, so for your overall energy today, we have the hermit that's showing up here. And... Okay, this is actually, because I'm, this is beautiful because I'm actually seeing someone that is watching over this process, um, kind of like in a, in a, in a coaching type of way. So, because there seems to be like, they're, they're showing up here as the magician and this artist here, and even as this like tiny little figure in the back, they're showing up kind of in the background. And that's that's why they're showing up in the hermit energy. They may not actually be speaking or, you know, coaching necessarily. And like, they're not coaching in a way that is very vocal. They're watching on and watching the progress of all of the, I don't even know what you call them, the ones that are sparring, the, all of the, competitors if you will but like I said it's not necessarily a competition it's practice so that's what this is looking like it's like maybe there is some type of um, selection that is happening here for you Leo and you're actually showing up as kind of like a leader in this dynamic and maybe someone is watching you practice, I was going to say perform, it's not even a, really a performance. It's like they're watching you practice because you're kind of just doing your thing and they're watching this and they're, they're, there's something within you that is being spotlit. It's like they're shining a light maybe perhaps on whatever this, this like secret, this secret weapon or secret fighting modality something along those lines it's like they can see that they can it's almost as if they can see this without you even having to show it perhaps because they're they're kind of like an expert that's what this is looking like so of course this is a general message so if you would like to get a private reading or, or a personal one actually uh, you can find out how to book that on my website. The link for that is in the description box. And just to move on with your reading itself, we're starting off the second, the first row of your reading with this Five of Wands. And this Five of Wands is showing up as your peers, actually, it's showing up as all of the other fighters that are sparring together. And so it's like you can see visually how all of these ones are, are sparring. And, you know, initially when this came out, I was like, okay, there's some competition. Maybe there's a lot of fighting. Could this be arguing? And then, and then suddenly I realized actually that they are in a sense, it's almost like they're play fighting. That's what this is referring to. So you're in a space where you're play fighting or sparring with all these other warriors. And it's like, if they were play fighting, they would be like kids, right? But they're all appearing much older here. So there's a level of seriousness that is within, within this card. Like, yes, of course, we are practicing, we are playing, but the level of seriousness is actually within the refining process of how each and every one of these people fight. It's almost like 
learning, kind of learning the, <laughs> that's interesting, with the magician here, learning the, the manipulation tactics that other fighters will use almost like in a way of baiting you. So it's like, I'm actually, I'm seeing a lot of like boxing. So it's referring to like how other fighters will, will use different stances or different techniques that will bait you into kind of like falling into their punches is what I'm seeing. So that's, that's what this is. It's like, there's several different techniques that are being practiced and used here. And it looks as though each one of these fighters has some type of different technique, right? And so whenever they go against each other in a sparring match, it's like one, they're, they're practicing and refining their own technique, but then they're also learning how the other one fights, right? So they're finding out kind of like the, the holes. That's what, that's what I'm seeing here with this magician. They're finding out the holes in their, in their, I don't know, fighting modality. I don't really know much about fighting, but that's what this is referring to. They're, they're figuring out kind of like where their holes are and then how to use that actually to their advantage because the magician here is talking about man manipulation but not necessarily in a negative way it's like learning how to utilize their energy against them in a way that would make you in a sense like the victor the victor of the fight right and so leo that's where th that this is where you are at this time and it looks as though your your technique, if you will, and the thing that you won't, like you're not really revealing, because it's like if you were to tell somebody what your technique is, like they're, they'll figure it out, you know, much easier than if they were to spar with you and and learn it. And so, so your technique, it looks to be, is to be more in a defensive stance. And uh, what I'm seeing here is like, that's actually what you're utilizing. And, you know, because it's like all of these, all of these competitors have these long, huge wands. They have a long reach. They, it's almost as if you're actually like the, like you could be the smallest one out of all of these, you know, because if you have like a series of, fighters right and you're appearing as maybe perhaps like the smallest one and so like they have a long reach they can grab you they you know what I'm saying you see what I'm saying so and you have this smaller it's a smaller wand and so you've had to learn how to be very like quick and fast and like it's like I'm seeing you dodging out of their way because you're presenting in a totally separate card here so it's like any time that they try to make a move against you or try to land a blow it's like you're quickly dodging out of the way and so it's like you're you see how this this line here is representing you actually like moving around the one who you're sparring with it's like you're very much <laughs> like you're kind of all over the place or at least they would see it as you are all over the place or un unattainable in some type of way and but really what you're doing is incredibly successful for yourself because you know they're all presenting in this five of wands which is actually talking about you're causing a lot of frustration in your competitors and you're appearing as this magician. So you're appearing very much on top of this situation as it stands. And so we have, I wanna say like with this six of cups that's showing up next, it's like all of this is, it's all in good fun, right? Like it's all for the benefit of learning how to, of how to, you know, I guess fight appropriately or fight in a way that would that would you know 
um, the, in a way that you would win simply. That's it's simply what it is. It's like a redefining, redefining, uh, a refining, a refinement of your fighting style. And so with this six of six of cups here that's showing up, this actually kind of reiterated for me that this is all fun. This is all fun and games. This is play fighting, right? This is practice. So there's nothing in the in the relationship that you have with these others that is actually like like you're not enemies is what I'm trying to say. You're not enemies. It's like you're you're doing this so that for the betterment of all of the warriors that are on on the field, if you will. And it's like, what I'm seeing is that this dynamic here, this dynamic of play fighting, of sparring against each other, is actually creating um, a sense of brotherhood. There's a brotherhood that's, that's forming here with this Six of Cups. It's like, I'm seeing both of these two boys as forming an incredible bond that is just as close as, as being brothers or even so significantly close that it, it's almost as appears as if they are like twins, something like that. It's like two people who maybe came from separate, from different mothers, right? Or, you know, it's like they're appearing as intrinsically like tied together. And what I'm seeing now is that when actually when you two, so we're now bringing in that second element of another person, when you two actually get together, and spar, it's actually very entertaining. That's what this is looking like. It's very entertaining because even though you both might have different fighting styles, you both know each other so incredibly well that you've actually picked up on the different holes that each other have. And so it it creates a very entertaining sparring match. And then those who are looking on like those who are watching like this hermit or maybe perhaps the coach and you know now showing up here as this this artist that's showing up it's like it's it's incredibly entertaining and dynamic and it's like you can even actually see there is hopefully you guys can see it but there is someone here that's standing in the background and I feel as though that's actually the hermit that's showing up here it's either the hermit or this artist it's almost as if this hermit here you know because they're showing up as this old this older gentleman like they've been your coach I want to say like for your whole life that's what this is looking like and you know that doesn't necessarily have to be an embodied person because it's like I'm not actually sensing them speaking verbally to you it's almost as if maybe energetically there's someone who has been standing behind you that has been coaching you in a way that is not visible because there's a, such a strong emphasis on them appearing in the background it's like you can't you can't see them so there's a there's a feeling of you can't see them they're not speaking but they're coaching you so that's what makes me feel like this could this could be maybe someone who has passed on who is assisting you actually like um they're assisting you spiritually so they might even be like helping you to to determine like where where your next move is where you're if if someone makes this move you know what exactly are you going to do that's what this is that's what this is talking about it's like there's there's a a coaching spirit that is with you okay so and i mean they could be embodied they might not be embodied it's kind of going back and forth so you know, for your own story, you'll have to determine how that is for you. But it's like, I can see that they're, I can see that they are definitely with you and coaching you. 
they're taking, they're absolutely taking a more passive approach because with this artist that's showing up as the final card, it's referring to that they're, they're standing on the sidelines and they're watching you and they're actually like starting, they're taking notes on your, on your performance or how you are sparring with others. And it might actually be, they're taking notes on, on the both of you, on the, on the both of you. So now there, there's, it's almost as if you have a, you have a brother or someone who is fighting with you and they're taking notes on your, on your connection, your relationship. And they're just watching. It's almost as if they're trying to select the winner. Cause this is, this is looking now like, um, what do they call those people? The analyzers or the announcers. Do you, the the announcers or analyzers of the actual the the game itself if you will and so they're trying to select it's looking to me like like a scorecard like they're they're writing down like the moves or the or the punches the blows and and how everything and, and is they're calculating which one would be the winner to this sparring match but i want to say that Whatever this is here, it's actually it's actually a practice run. So, and that might also be your secret weapon too, is that you're just practicing. And because you're practicing, it's bringing in an element of like, we're just having fun. And so when you're just having fun, that's actually when you perform the best. Like if you were to be very focused on these ones that are that are looking at you and maybe judging or um you know figuring out who's going to be the winner and all of that that focus or that mindset would put you kind of in this five of wands which is a more competitive space but it's like because you're having fun you're actually going to be fighting a lot better than everyone else <laughs> i don't know so if this resonated with you, I will be pulling some more cards and you can uh, follow the link in the description box and you'll find the extended reading there. All right, Leo. See ya.